truffle risotto with herb chicken and creamy mushroom sauce with crispy onions. That's just one of the more than 30 recipes available from HelloFresh every week this back to school season. Get 65% off plus free shipping with code MLM65 at hellofresh.com slash MLM65. Ooh, whoops, didn't mean to scare you, but don't worry, we aren't talking about ghosts today. We're gonna be diving into the wild saga of the dirt company, Black Oxygen Organics, which might be just as scary if we're being honest. As the COVID-19 pandemic swept through the world, people were terrified. I'm sure I don't have to really remind anyone what the beginning of 2020 felt like. Now, while many people were struggling to make ends meet and survive in what we deem to be this new normal, some businesses were thriving off of the chaos that ensued. Black Oxygen Organics was one of these businesses. With the entire world desperate to find a way to prevent COVID-19 or even cure it, it was easy for a whole new stream of people to start leaning less on traditional Western medicine and start looking for a more holistic approach. Out of seemingly nowhere, people were popping up all across social media, pulling out their best Captain Jack Sparrow impressions. The whole, I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt. And you wanna know what was inside of it? Arsenic, that's what was inside of it. Just like good old Jack, they thought this jar of dirt could save them, but not from terrifying CGI pirates, but from any and all diseases. Oh, and apparently parasites for some reason. And that's right, Boo wasn't just for curing diabetes, cleansing people's trauma, preventing COVID-19 and curing autism, which gross, but it was for flushing out parasites living in people's bodies with dirt. Hashtag Boo was flooded with people claiming that ingesting and bathing in Boo's cure-all dirt rid them of parasites they had gained from their food, their water, and of course, because we always have to bring it back here, their vaccines. Because they've been poisoned, obviously, their kids have been poisoned. So obviously some dirt curing, it explains so much. Do your kids act crazy around the full moon phase? Chances are they have parasites. If it freaks you out, flush and walk away, but don't be okay with the parasite staying in you and your family members. And just like that, the MLM company was saving people from everything, from COVID to poisonings to annoying kids. But did it actually work? No, it was actually extremely dangerous. I feel like this would have been obvious since you're eating dirt, but I guess it's not. The company simply did not care that they were feeding people complete bullshit for $100 a jar, because you know, money is money after all. So where the hell did this mystery dirt company come from? Why were people trusting it in the first place? And oh shit, are they making a comeback too? Hello everyone and welcome to Multilevel Mondays. I'm the Illuminati and today we're gonna be talking about the holistic healthcare company that seemed to take the world by storm in 2020 before quickly fizzling out of existence. While they exploded in popularity during the MLM boom of 2020, Boo had actually been a company since 2015, started by Mark saint Angin. Now, Mark had a bit of an interesting past, but people found his Miracle Dirt product in 2020 and were completely unaware of his scam-ridden background. Way back in 1989, he was claiming to be pretty much every type of healer under the sun. He was an orthotherapist, a holistic physician, an herbalist, and an aromatherapist. One small problem though, he wasn't actually any of those. Despite owning his very own clinic, he had no medical license to practice at all. So he was shut down and fined $20,000. Soon after, he would come up with his ingenious invention, dirt. His first try didn't go over quite as he planned as he claimed it could treat arthritis and rheumatism without any evidence whatsoever and again was shut down. But then came Black Oxygen Organics, his newest, latest and greatest cash grab. This time he had it all figured out. Instead of simply promoting himself as the guy who sells dirt to people to heal illnesses without any type of scientific evidence, he was the ultimate businessman. He could sell anything to anyone and he could teach you how. And just like that, a new MLM was born. Then came 2020 and it just simply exploded. Can you think of an easier way to make a living? People are scared of a new virus and modern medicine doesn't know what to make of it. If you're selling holistic medicine, this was the perfect storm. People flocked to MLMs to try and make ends meet. And Boo was offering bonuses of up to $30,000 just for selling dirt. And with the distributors touting the health claims and not the company, they could avoid those pesky government regulations that had gotten them the first time at least for 
a little bit. All it took to become involved was a purchase of their so expensive jars of dirt. Seriously, $110 plus shipping. That's all you needed and you would be in business. They were selling what was advertised as fulvic acid to their friends, family, literally just anyone they could convince to buy it. And for a few months, it was going great. The product was marketed to anyone. Young, old, four paws, everyone could benefit from this dirt product. All it took was for them to mix some of it into their water, take a bath in it, or smear it on their skin. There was no reason to be suspicious that it didn't work because all you ever saw on social media was good reviews. One man claimed that after days of suffering through the lingering impacts of COVID-19, Boo helped him go outside and play with his kids again. Others claimed that it cured diseases, regrew their hair, and gave them clearer skin and whiter teeth. Some even said it could miraculously change your eye color. Who knew? Dirt gathered from the Ontario dirt bog could do the impossible. Now, of course, it also had the added benefit of removing parasites from your system, because I know that's something we're all very worried about. Entire Facebook groups were actually dedicated to discussing the pure awesomeness of the product with people excitedly sharing their stories. The company in the meantime was rolling in dough. In the span of just six months, they brought in 21,000 new sellers and over 38,000 customers. They had a massive spike in sales, making almost $4 million a month. Their customers were buzzing and their sellers were doing what any good MLM does, trying to convince people that they could get rich off of their products, which newsflash, you can't. But people still tried and said stuff like, I earned $21,000 in bonuses in my first five weeks. I am a single mom, one income family. This business was the best decision. And it was full steam ahead for the company. But there was a problem they hadn't thought of. While they were off celebrating their newfound notoriety and online viral status, others were just starting to take notice. Yeah, when your loyal customers continuously post unrealistic claims and you're all over social media, people are bound to call you out for your problems. And oh boy, did Boo have some problems. I know it's shocking to hear that a company founded by a lifelong scammer sold dirt for $100 and claimed to have the cure-all medication for literally everything, but it's true, who could have ever guessed? While people were off celebrating their miracle cures for COVID-19, hyperactive kids and eye colors they weren't fond of, others weren't getting quite as lucky. When 39-year-old Monica Wong was scrolling through Facebook one day, she saw an ad that caught her eye. Fuck Big Pharma, it said, with a picture of Boo's product next to it, claiming that it could detox heavy metals in your system by evidently adding more heavy metals, but we'll get to that in a second. Intrigued, Monica did what thousands of others had done before her. She did a little more research, which of course led her to all of the social media posts claiming how incredible this product was and she decided to buy it for herself and her boyfriend. For two months, they drank water mixed with some of the dirt. But instead of getting all of the healing effects that she'd read so much about, she got sudden and unexplained stomach pains. Confused and alarmed by this new development of health issues she had never had before the product, Wong tried to take to Facebook to warn others. The only issue was the moderators of the group refused to let her post the comment. In fact, they seemed to be silencing any negative reviews people attempted to post on the page. And instead, all that could be found were glowing recommendations from people who, and let's be honest, were probably selling the product themselves. In reality, all of the claims were complete bullshit. Over the years, people have claimed that fulvic acid was some sort of magical cure-all for all types of diseases, hay fever, cancer, lead toxicity, and pretty much everything you can think of. But in reality, there's no scientific evidence that it helps anything in the long run. Sure, it's great agriculturally, but for humans, not so much. You're eating fertilizer. Like you're you're kind of eating fertilizer, let's just be real. But about the claim that their dirt could cure COVID-19, well, it turns out that was bullshit too. I know, shocking, absolutely floored. The idea that fulvic acid can heal viruses is not new, but it also has never been substantially proven either. Their supposed studies that sought to prove their claims were also cherry-picked and misinterpreted. Almost all of them came before the 1990s and none of them were human studies. So yes, let's trust the studies focusing on fertilizer curing human ailments, which just happened to not include humans at all. It's almost as if the idea that one man was able to suddenly defeat long COVID after finding Black Oxygen Organics products was likely completely fabricated. And why would he do this, you may ask? 
he wasn't a seller. So what possible motivation could he have to lie about such an important topic? Well, he wasn't a distributor for Boo. His wife sure was though. And of course, she shared her own story of her husband's amazing recovery. And wouldn't you know it, it saved her too. What a miraculous turn of events. Hell, the company itself shared it on its Instagram account. That doesn't scream marketing scheme at all. Now then, there are also the parasites. Oh boy, the parasites. Out of absolutely nowhere, people began posting video after video of them sitting in black water, swearing that the only way to rid your body of these suddenly extremely dangerous parasites was through your skin. And if you were to believe these endless amounts of videos, it was working. People posted pictures of them holding slimy-like substances claiming that Boo's magical product had saved them from poisoning. And of course, and obviously, none of this was actually true. Those photos were not of parasites. And as John David, professor at Harvard School of Public Health put it, they are obviously crazy people. These were people that had been so convinced by pseudoscience that there were parasites in their bodies that reproduce during full moons and ruin their serotonin levels, immune system, and sleep patterns, and they were desperate to be proven right. That's about it. Social media had been overrun by Boo supporters, but don't worry, Sierra Manchester, a stay-at-home mother, had a solution. If they wanted to play the online social media game, so could she. She'd been spreading awareness about scam MLM products and businesses on Facebook for nearly five years, but Boo was a whole new beast. She had never seen a company pushing miracle cures get this big, this fast, she says. The only time I've ever really seen claims that were like a miracle cure, a fountain of youth, you're usually seeing scammy ads and then the company's just gone. It never gets big, you never hear about it again. It's people taking your money and running with it. These people were making claims like that. Enter her social media campaign titled Boo Is Woo, which is an adorable name. Manchester, with her online following of thousands of people, gathered together to warn the masses about the horrendous lies perpetuated by Boo, including those of their corporate team. The president, Carlo Garibaldi, seems to have quite a history, or rather, a lack of one in the corporate world. While he boasts himself as some sort of entrepreneurial genius, he has never shared publicly any sign that he has worked with any other company before Boo. Then there was the 20 year old news story that seems to imply that he had a history of drug smuggling. And to be fair, the articles name a man Emilio Carlo Garibaldi, but it has never been confirmed that that's 100% him, though he does admit to having a rap sheet. So I don't know, maybe it is. Both the founder and Garibaldi have repeatedly claimed that their product supports biological functions and allows for higher oxygen uptake in the body. In fact, they claim a total of 14 health benefits. Of course, the online communities debunking all these claims were sure to remind everyone that not only were they undeniably false, but they were being pushed by people with a shady past. But it didn't stop there. Online communities were just getting bigger and bigger. Boo was unprepared for the mudstorm that was coming their way. Do you get it? Was that a good pun? Did that land? I don't know. Let me know. While I'm sure Boo was hoping that people who were sharing their downright scam all over the internet would disappear into the night, they seemed to do everything but. Instead of just sharing the stories around to a few people and wishing that they would listen, they were simply building a case. Yeah, when people get together and talk about a company that's lying to everyone about their distributor rates, health impacts, and science behind the product, they tend to start looking for ways to make that company stop. And these groups on Facebook were not messing around. They weren't just sharing random information. They had infiltrated the company's sellers groups. They registered themselves as sellers and attended any and all sales meetings they could. They weren't just attending for the fun of it. They were gathering information. It didn't sit for long as the activists instructed anyone that infiltrated the group to gather everything they had and file official complaints with the FTC and the FDA. Teamwork makes the dream work after all, and the dream was to get Boo shut down. Then when they discovered that Boo's products were being dug up right next to a landfill, they acted quickly, shipping the products off to laboratories for further analysis. After some time, federal entities started to take notice and it was so much worse than we thought. Sure, we already knew that the company was substantiating wildly inaccurate health claims, but what we didn't know was that they were basically poisoning their customers. 
In 2021, the FDA released an advisory to all consumers to immediately stop taking the supposed fulvic acid product due to elevated levels of lead and arsenic. Now, these two metals are naturally found in our environment, but they're usually stripped out of any of the products prior to us buying them. But with Boo, they seem to miss that step. So while all these people thought they were taking products that were supposed to be healing them, they were really taking products that were substantially harmful to their bodies, especially if they were consuming them in large quantities. Given the testimonials of people saying they drank a couple glasses of water mixed with boo a day, it seemed like a terrifying amount of people overdid it. Following a routine sampling of the products at the Canadian border, the FDA put a hold on them, meaning they weren't supposed to be shipped anywhere. Unbeknownst to them though, Boo decided they did not want to listen to the FDA's warnings and shipped out the products anyway. So here they are being told that there's arsenic and lead in their dirt and they still decide to send it out to consumers anyway. If that doesn't say we don't give a shit about our customers, then I don't know what does. Around the same time that the FDA released its advisory, the FTC released a cease and desist letter to the company due to their unlawful advertisement that they treated COVID-19. I feel like I've said this a lot lately, but countries don't take all too kindly to companies that claim they can prevent or treat an extremely deadly and dangerous global virus. While it seems like common sense to me, and I feel like many of you listening, it clearly was not. In America and you know, pretty much every country, it's illegal for companies to claim that their products can cure or prevent human disease without significant scientific proof. Sometimes this seems to fall by the wayside, but during COVID-19, this wasn't really an option anymore. In the case of Boo and COVID-19, their scientific evidence certainly didn't exist anywhere. So they were instructed to immediately stop advertising the products like they were or face a lawsuit from the FTC. I feel like it's important to note that the FTC only sent this letter out because of the pandemic. None of the other supposed cures they claimed that you know came from Boo products were addressed, just the COVID issue. Now, obviously that was the number one concern at the time, but it goes to show that America has some serious work to do about supplements making dangerously inaccurate health claims. The fact that they said it could cure autism or cancer should absolutely be addressed as we keep seeing these same sentiments time and time again, but apparently they're not quite caught up to that yet. By September, the Canadian government announced a total recall of black oxygen organics products due to potential health risks, which may be higher for children, adolescents, and pregnant or breastfeeding women. The issue? None of their products had been evaluated by Health Canada, and they were marketing the fulvic acid for health advantages that, say it with me, were not backed up by science. So it seemed like the jig was up for this company. Their two primary sales locations were starting to turn against them, and their former customers, well, they were catching on too. In November, 2021, former customers decided it was finally time to file a lawsuit against Boo, the founder, and the president. Remember when I mentioned that the FDA found toxic metals in Boo's products? Well, the hope would be that they had no idea that this was happening, right? Because you could insinuate that if they did, you know, they would stop advertising the product to adults, children, and animals. But if they didn't, then it would theoretically imply that they knew about the danger and just cared more about the money. Well, judging by the facts that have been laid out, these assholes knew exactly what was in the product and they went about their merry way promoting it to the masses. According to the lawsuit, internal company documents as well as independent tests proved that they knew the products had unsafe levels of toxic metals. Additionally, the lawsuit claims that Boo knew this and continued to sell them without any warnings to their customers. Oh. And they were doing all of this while simultaneously promoting the miracle cures and enhanced athletic ability that came from their products, which as we know, does not exist. This lawsuit is still ongoing and you can even contact the lawyers if you want to get involved with the case. So just in case you bought Boo products or consume Boo products, I'm letting you know, you still have options. Now, what that means for us though, is we're gonna have to wait and see what happens as time progresses. But with multiple federal governments and former consumers breathing down Boo's necks, the company started floundering. They were scrambling, trying to hide their mistakes or rather the downright lies. They were trying everything and anything they could to stay afloat. See, when you have multiple different entities pointing out the fallacies in your company, it's a little hard to stay floating and Boo would certainly fail in any attempts to stay alive. 
And before we go on to discuss and take a look at the ultimate fall of Boo and their potential rise again, let's go ahead and have a quick moment for today's sponsors. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. It's time to cozy up and save money by cooking at home. Fall is the perfect time to experience the delicious taste and unparalleled convenience of HelloFresh. Because with HelloFresh, ingredients travel from the farm to your doorstep in less than seven days, so you know it's fresh. Plus, pre-portioned ingredients make cooking a snap and cut down on food waste. And they work with your ever-changing schedule because the plants are super flexible and you can change everything in your HelloFresh app from what kind of meals you want for the week, you can update preferences, and you can even change your delivery day or skip a week if you need to. So if you're ready to get cooking this fall season, make sure you go to hellofresh.com MLM65 and use code MLM65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Again, that's hellofresh.com slash MLM65 and use code MLM65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Research shows that sex is as mental as it is physical. So you need more than just an amazing vibrator. If you dog-eared that one sexy chapter in a romance novel, or you have that particular scene in a movie that you always fantasize about, Dipsy can help you get there in a new way. And with Dipsy, you can skip straight to the good parts because Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed by women for women. They bring scenarios to life with immersive soundscapes and realistic characters. Find stories about an intriguing coworker or hooking up with a hot yoga instructor. Whatever fits your fancy, Dipsy's probably got it. And Dipsy has stories for straight and queer listeners, and 56% of their stories are voiced by people of color. New content is released every single week. So in between listening to your favorite stories, you can always find something new to explore. So let Dipsy be your go-to place to spice up your me time, explore your fantasies, relax and unwind, or heat things up with a partner. So for listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash MLM. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories.com slash MLM dipsystories.com slash MLM. You can thank me later. The corporate call of desperation within the Boo Company started off with excitement for everyone to learn about the new generation. The leading distributors sat quietly as they listened to Ron Mortali, the VP of business development, as he led them into the new world of Boo. But As the call goes on, the excitement about the company seems to slowly dissipate into less excitement and more fear. The general public was starting to catch on to their wild claims, their various misdoings, and their general negligence. It was definitely time for them to be scared. An opportunity is nothing more than solving a problem, he says. If that's all it was, then yeah, Boo had quite a few opportunities. Maybe they could shift their company to selling face masks or maybe completely switch their product line. There was opportunity to change, but are those the steps that they were taking? No, of course it wasn't. Instead, Montarulli decided it would be better to attack their distributors' use of social media, saying that they're making outrageous claims and attracting haters. Never mind the fact that the company itself has shared these outrageous claims on its own Instagram. Just blame the distributors, right? That's the better way to do business. But don't worry, he has solutions. Just change the wording a little bit and that will fix everything. Instead of saying that Boo products help with ADHD, they can switch it to having trouble concentrating. Instead of suggesting their product somehow prevents heart attacks, they could just switch up the wording a little bit to say, maintain a healthy cardiovascular system instead. Sure, they still didn't have any scientific evidence to back up these edited claims, but it sounds slightly less bad to say that it can help with concentration than treat a mental disorder that should definitely be treated by a trained professional. Now, if you listen to the entirety of this 49 minute call, you'll know it's pretty obvious that Monterulli sounds absolutely panicked. He is absolutely just shitting his pants throughout the entire call. He did promise the brand partners that the company was only going to get better, that they will just keep making more money and living their little happy successful lives, selling dangerous products to the masses as long as they just watch their wording on social media. Maybe he knew he was lying to the leaders of their distributor army, or maybe he was truly that hopeful. Either way, he wasn't correct. Things did not get better, they only got worse. While the VP was doing everything in his power to sound hopeful, the company was scrambling. 
they had filed a lawsuit against a former brand partner, David Bikofsky, for defamation and extortion after he posted a series of videos and social media posts online exposing the company for the toxic metals in the products. Oh, and of course that quirky little fun fact that they were collecting their dirt right next to a toxic landfill. Now, as for the extortion bit, that came after he sent an email requesting a $200,000 settlement for him to remove the videos, which yeah, that does sound a bit shysty. Now, as for the defamation, the man was right about everything he did. So it definitely seems like Boo was just trying to keep him quiet. Meanwhile, they had multiple cease and desist letters sent out to people that had been organizing evidence against their company. Now, does that sound like people who believe that things will be getting better? Because it doesn't to me. Quickly after their meeting, they were hit with the various forms of government intervention I mentioned earlier. I guess deleting the social media accounts and yelling at their distributors to make their claims more compliant with federal regulators didn't remove the dangerous metals in their products. Who would have ever guessed? Then two days before Thanksgiving, the worst, or in our case, arguably the best thing happened. Boo announced that they would be shutting down their company. The email sent out to all customers and sellers read in part. It is with a heavy heart that we must announce the immediate closing of Black Oxygen Organics. In a company-wide Zoom call later that day, the president, Carlo Garibaldi, explained that while they could handle the government interference, the lawsuit, and the general public swiftly turning against their products, they could not handle the fatal blow of their online merchant dropping them. It seems like those opportunities for success actually ended up being Boo's biggest mistake. As the company switched gears to offer only non-consumable products, its loyal customers started to turn their backs. A wave of people began to ask for their money back and it spooked their payment processor. With no way to take in new orders and handle payments, there was nothing else they could do. After one of the most notable and historic booms in the history of MLMs, Boo was finally dead. While many celebrated their success of getting the company shut down, their sellers were left by the wayside with no way to recoup the thousands of dollars they had spent on products. One seller crying in a Zoom call said, I am three weeks to a month away from having a baby and I've been depending on this money to arrive in my bank account. It's the only income we have. With no promise of help from the company itself, thousands of people were left out in the cold. All of this could have been avoided had Boo just been honest about their product. Meanwhile, complaints were flooding in from former customers that had placed orders during the promotions Boo was holding right before shutting down. In an attempt to save the company, at least my assumption, Boo was offering a 30% discount on their products, promising their customers that they would begin shipping again in November. Instead, they closed down. So customers were left with hundreds of dollars coming out of their checking accounts and no product. With the company shut down, there was no way to email, call, or even write letters for them to express their concern. So once again, Boo had screwed their customers one final time. And while this certainly seemed like the end, we may have celebrated a little too soon. Longevity International, another MLM based in California, may be stepping in to save the day, as fricking nutty as this sounds. As Boo closed its doors, Longevity swept in with emails to former distributors offering them a new home. Then they released their product, Midnight Minerals, which looks and sounds eerily similar to Boo's products. Suddenly, former Boo distributors who jumped ship were back online claiming that Boo was back. The new product has virtually the same ingredients. They even use Boo's old safety report. Sure, it still contains low levels of toxic minerals and arsenic, but as long as the dose is low, you should be fine. Nothing to worry about here. So it looks like we're in for Boo 2.0. Hopefully we've all learned our lesson from the first time, but if not, keep your eyes open. I most certainly will be, and I'll be keeping tabs on this longevity MLM and see what they're up to. So this is bound to get interesting is all I'm really going to say. But with all of that being said, that is where I'm going to end today's episode of Multi-Level Mondays. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something new. And if you did, make sure that you're liking, following, and subscribing to stay up to date with all the latest episodes. And if you wanna connect with me outside of these episodes, make sure that you click my Linktree link in the description box. It's going to show a neatly little organized list of all of my social media, where I'm streaming, and other various projects that I'm involved in. Again, thank you all so much for joining me today, and thank you for staying tuned for this update. I had been looking forward to doing the Boo update, but I really wanted to wait till Halloween so I could have my little terrible spooky Boo puns at the beginning. I'm sorry about it. It's who I am deep down. I have to make terrible tacky puns and bad jokes and 
here we are. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I do really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.